I'm Kitty Gum Drop and you're watching Kitty's channel. Hair's blonde again, you know what that means. It's time for something else. I am so tired of the cold, I hate it so much. I used to be able to withstand it, I didn't think it was that bad. But it's winter time and it's cold outside and I've lost over 100 pounds and I'm down to like 140. And the cold hurts me. I need to live somewhere warm like California or Florida. Preferably California because I'm kind of sick, uh, sick of this side of the country. It's one of the reasons that I brought Florida up was because my inspiration is a bit tropical this time. I am actually basing what I want off of something this time instead of just picking a couple colors and putting them in my hair. My inspiration is a macaw parrot. Yeah, I want my hair to be like that. I want it to be green and that tealish blue color and that yellow throughout the sides. So what I'm hoping to do is take my bangs through here. Like, not all of them, just like the middle, like the, the wispy things that are- Oh, that's adorable, I should do that. But I'm hoping to take these wispy parts through here and dye that green, because the macaw had that like green foo through the back that was just like floofed over the top, just the tiniest little bit of green. And then I'm gonna take all this stuff that's hanging down through here and it's gonna be blue, along with most of up here. And then through the bottom parts of here, starting about like that, is gonna be yellow. So if you're interested in me making green macaw hair, is like make it a bit more tropical through the cold season, go ahead and stay tuned. I pulled all of this out of my hair because I already knew that I did not want this to be yellow. So I guess I'm tying this up like this because it's not gonna stay out of the way with these clips. There's too many little wispy spots. So I guess I'm just gonna have to get over that. Messy as it is, I have a little bit of it sectioned off, but I don't want the entire underside to be yellow because that's just... There's too many blue feathers as opposed to yellow feathers, and I was just thinking of kind of like cutting it off just down the sides here. So I'm gonna section that last little bit and then we'll get to actually dyeing this thing. I know it's super messy, but it's as good as we're gonna get. It got everything out of the way and now I can actually get started getting the colors on. I got so many frizzies sticking out everywhere. I got my hair all pinned out of the way. It's messy, but it's there. So it'll work for me for now. I got this fluffy blue thing holding the yellow parts that are gonna be kind of like looping around like the macaws did. And then this part that's hanging down is just gonna be aquamarine. And then I also, like aquamarine by Arctic Fox, by the way, that's what I have here. Uh, I don't know, I feel like I'm taking on a lot as it is. So let's, let's go ahead and do that now at this point. Get that aquamarine in this hair. I'm gonna be an aquamarine biologist. I'm gonna start at the back of my head back here because I think it's gonna be a lot simpler to not bleed it into the yellow if I do it back here first and get it all saturated through this part and through the roots up here. And then I'll flip it over and get it through the roots here and then start to work it down through the ends. That's my plan. Let's go. I just want everybody to know it is extraordinarily difficult for me to see back here. I may overlap onto something that I wanted to be yellow. I'm afraid. I'm also afraid of missing a spot trying not to overlap somewhere, too. At this point, I think I got it pretty well over here. Maybe too much, I can't see. Ah! Am I looking like a tropical bird yet? Okay, I'm gonna hold this mirror up over here and try to get some of the spots. Yeah. I think I got it. I'm not gonna lie, that was nerve-wracking. I was so afraid I was gonna mess up the entire time. Time for the other side. I was so dead convinced that I messed up just now, it's not even funny. I thought I just overlapped that all onto that where that yellow was supposed to be and I was so sad. So we got the blue all through the bottom part of the hair and I got variations through the color, I'm expecting that because even when I did this bleach wash to get the last thing I did out of my hair, which was Ex Mondo's turquoise and slate gray, had to try those two because I hadn't had them before. And I mean, this is very, very similar, but it looks like a deeper, more jewel toned version of the aquamarine that I used before. Turquoise. I mean, Xmondo turquoise. It was a turquoise, this is aquamarine. So they're probably gonna be a little bit different anyway. So I got it all through the bottom. Gonna get that all rinsed out, everything ready, change my gloves, and then we're gonna go and do the yellow. And then I'm gonna move on to finishing up the last bits of everything else. And just like that, we are back. I got that tied off back here with one of those clip thingies. And I'm gonna get this open, which is the Arctic Fox Cosmic Sunshine. I do have one actual uh, brand I haven't tried before, which is Eero Eero. You know, that Eero Eero thing, but it's a lot more fun if you're like, Eero Eero. That's a yellow, right? Yellow, yellow, yellow. So I heard the Eero Eero is really hard to get out of your hair. And since I'm only putting it in my bangs, I figured 
even if it doesn't come out, my bangs are gonna grow out quick enough that I can cut them off anyway. Snippity snip snip bye. I've had coffee. Clearly I need more coffee. And then we can get started. Tropical bird of paradise. Dye in my hair, don't wanna think twice. Ow, fuck. It's coming out like Super Saiyan yellow. That was actually pretty easy, I'm excited. I was so afraid that was gonna be a lot harder than it was. I guess I shouldn't get too excited before I do the other side, but here we are. Well, that's not fantastic, but it's holding it there. Other side. Ooh. <clears throat> Look at that, we already have the yellow done on both sides. So I'm just gonna tuck this up on this side too. And then we're gonna move on to the aquamarine. I can't say aquamarine today for some reason. We're gonna move on to the aquamarine on top. So now nothing too interesting. I'm just hoping it goes well. I know I have hair in my face, I apologize for that. But anyway, um, I'm hoping that I don't get any of the blue and the yellow while I'm getting the blue on the top. The aquamarine, I'm not putting the dark blue. That is the dark blue. The aquamarine, I'm not putting the dark blue anywhere yet. I haven't quite clearly decided if I'm using the dark blue at all. So the aquamarine's going up here, nothing too interesting. I'm just plopping it up there and hoping I can avoid the yellow at all costs. So wish me luck on that and hopefully we can get through that quickly. It's a lot deeper than the turquoise that I bought from X Mondo which is a very similar hair color that I did last time. If you haven't seen that video, go ahead and find it on my channel. It's, uh, it's the one I did on Halloween, the day after Halloween. I'm in my Halloween costume. So I finally got all that blue up in my hair through here. It's there. <clears throat> We're moving on to the blue that I have left through here and the green, which I'm gonna do at the same time, sort of. I think I'm gonna do the green first and then move on to the blue, but have them in the bowls at the same time just to get this done a little bit faster because this has already taken me like two hours and I'm not proud of that. Just these wispy bangs right here I want green. They're not very even, I cut them myself, but I don't really care about that because my hair is not very straight so it doesn't matter if it's not very even. Pro tip. So this is what I got for the green. I got Iro Iro in neon green and I'm hoping that it's good. I have heard good things about Iro Iro. Iro Iro? Iro Iro? But I've personally never used it myself. So we're gonna use it the, for the first time on our bangs, baby steps. Baby bangs, baby steps. Hopefully that's enough. If it's not, I've got more, so heh <laughs> Oh my God, look how green that is. It's going. First impressions with this dye, a little goes a long way. It is super drippy. Second impression. If I step back, is it the same color as my wall? Blending in with the environment. It's the final countdown. Fuck. I was trying so hard not to do it with the tune, and then suddenly the tune was just like, it's in your blood, you gotta do it, you gotta go, just go for it. They'll love it. Last but not least, and so I can stop looking like I've just walked out of the insane asylum. Can you tell I'm from the Midwest? I can. Somebody help me. I need to leave. Moving on to the last bit of the aquamarine, which means that anything that you see that's still blonde is gonna be aquamarine. Almost done. I accidentally got a little yellow down here when I was dyeing it because I wasn't really decisive about what I was doing with the sides yet. So I'm gonna dye that yellow blue and hopefully the blue's blue enough to cover it because I don't think that yellow's really gonna do much. I'm pretty sure that I've gotten it as good as it's gonna get. My plan for rinsing it out is I'm going to rinse all the blue as best I can before I even remove the wrappings and whatever for the yellow so that I can at least salvage the parts that hang down, even if I get a little bit of greenish tint to the yellow parts that are underneath the blue. And then I'm gonna rinse out the green. That seems like a good next step. And then last but not least, when I'm pretty sure the water's running almost clear, I'm gonna rinse out the yellow. Then I'm gonna dry my hair, do some makeup, and I'll show you guys this with an altogether look because, uh. I know I've promised makeup in the past and gotten tired, but this time I have a hair dryer. I don't have to wait around for my stupid hair to dry. So uh, I may be frizzy, but you know what? At least it'll be dry. That's what we're going with. Cut, print, see you in a few. So it's four o'clock in the morning and it took me hours and hours, like six hours overall, I guess, to do everything. I got makeup on the matches. See, I got the yellow, the green, and the blue. Kinda, I did my best. 
But overall, this is how the hair turned out. I got my green bangs all through here, and if I sweep them back, I kind of look more like a parrot, kind of like that. Do I look parrot-like? I'll put one up for comparison. But the blue came out like really blue, but way more blue than I thought it was going to. I mean, it was pretty dark to begin with, but it said aquamarine, and it was a little bit lighter, so I assumed it would be closer to the color of the parrot. It's not, still looks good, still like it. The yellow did exactly kind of what I thought it would do, where you have a little bit of green in the yellow, and there's not as much yellow as I think I should have done. I probably should have done this whole section yellow instead of made these blue. But it doesn't look bad. I like it. I think it looks good. Let me know down in the comments below if you think this dye job is a good one, because my last one was my favorite, but I'm starting to think this one might actually be my favorite. So that's all I had this week. Just a chill video where I turned my hair from boring blonde, because it had faded to kind of like just this really off pale green. It wasn't ugly, but it wasn't doing me any favors either. If you enjoyed me turning my hair into some tropical paradise hair for the season, because I am sick and tired of the winter. I don't know about you guys, but like I really hate cold weather and it hurts. It hurts my face, it hurts my soul, and I just want to get the hell out of anywhere that is cold at any point in any time. So if you liked that video, go ahead and hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next week. I make videos every single Monday. Bye.